Stanford goes to Clemson. Stanford got a walk-off win, long field goal against Syracuse last week, feeling good about themselves. And this week, they have to go to Death Valley. They got to go to Memorial Stadium. Clemson has played a stronger strength of schedule thus far. They absolutely walloped NC State last week. The offense for Clemson is looking pretty good. Uh, Number 12 in PPA per pass, number 3 in PPA per rush. Uh, My number on this has Clemson, stats-wise, has Clemson minus 22. And power rating has got Clemson minus 19.5. Now, power rating-wise, I've got Clemson number 13. I've got uh, Stanford number 75. I've got Clemson favored by like 15 in power rating. So nothing too crazy. Uh, And if you want to throw in home field advantage, hell, we can give them three and a half points. And it would still only get me up to, you know, 18 and a half, uh, maybe 19 if you you add four. It just kind of depends. Um, But none of of my numbers are at 22 and a half or 21 and a half. So, yeah, the stats model is at 22. Uh, Look, there is a 22 and a half out there. So, and I'll... I like to tell you what book, but but I can't necessarily do that right this second. Uh, but I wrote it down. I know we got it. I know we got it because I went and found the best numbers for these books. Um, there we go. All right, let's find it. Uh, looking at those numbers, though, here we'll scroll down so that you can see the the Clemson defense is not great at stopping the pass. Uh, Ao Manor. We'll certainly be able to. Uh... Okay, we've changed. All right, so DraftKings has twenty-two. We'll take twenty-two on that with Stanford. So, you you can tell which direction I'm going here because I'm going to take Stanford in the spot uh, because this is a look ahead. As ridiculous as it sounds, I think Clemson is looking ahead to that Florida State game, and I think they want to embarrass them. At least that's what I'm feeling. Uh, the five factors plus talent rank Clemson just number thirty to number seventy-two. So Clemson, that Georgia game weighing heavily here, uh, They it, Clemson's defense, number 126 in points per scoring opportunity, they don't allow a lot of teams to get down there. They're number, well, I take that back. They do allow a lot of uh, scoring opportunities per game, and they give up a, a bunch of points, almost five points per scoring opportunity, so they're giving up touchdowns. Uh, defensive red zone appearances per game, number 119, they're giving up 4.33. Their defensive red zone touchdown rate is number 102. So six, over 69% of the time when a team gets into the red zone, they're scoring a touchdown. That is insane. Um, Stanford is not great at it. They're 53% on offensive red zone touchdown rate. I think that Clemson is going to let Stanford hang around in this game. I think that Troy Taylor, the Stanford head coach, is going to run the ball enough, and I think that A.O. Manor is going to have enough success against that secondary that they'll just hang around. I don't think Clemson is too worried about running Stanford out of the building. I think that's what they want to do to Florida State next week. So give me Stanford plus the 22 on that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.